You better work hard and not slack off, Milf. Yes, I know. I'll do my best. Well, your best is usually not good enough. But anyway, I'm going to head out now. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Why does she have to bully me like this every day? I'm trying my best. Well, isn't it obvious? This time around, you're completely in the wrong, Milf. You broke her favorite plate. But think about it for a minute, sir. If you break a plate, it multiplies. That's a good thing, no? Two plates is better than one, and three plates are better than two. Now that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? No, absolutely not. Here, let me put it this way. How would you feel if someone broke something that's super important to you? Something that's important to me, huh? Well, I would love it if someone broke a MILF in half. That's one more MILF I can hang out with. Ah, <sighs> I was stupid for thinking that I could have a proper conversation with you. But anyway, you better work hard. You gotta pay back mom for the plate, you know? Yes, sir. Ah. Uh, do you even understand what I'm saying right now? Oh well. See you later, I guess. Phew. Alone again. Working here alone can get pretty lonely. But anyway, uh, my name is Milf. And I'm currently working at this sushi restaurant as a chef to pay back my boss for the plate I broke. And Miss Okiku must have worked her ass off for all those plates that she owns. She has a crap load of them at home. And it's kind of wholesome thinking about how hard she must have worked for all of them. But anyway, I need to get back to work. Oh, but before I do that, let me smoke a cigarette real quick. And so, I headed outside to the smoking area. I can't smoke inside the restaurant, so I have to make my way here every time I want to have a smoke. Ugh, my wife always told me to not smoke cigarettes. I should put on a disguise so she doesn't find out. There we go. Wait a minute. What am I talking about? I don't have a wife! Phew. That's good, huh? Huh? What's going on over there? Why is there a pregnant woman in the smoking area? Come on now, light our cigarettes. Yeah, we ain't got all day. Sorry guys, I'll put it on right away. Phew, man, when you put the light on, the cigarette tastes worse for some reason. Phew. Yeah, you're right. Phew. <coughs> uh, um, can I please wait for you guys outside? Huh? Why? You're our slave, aren't you? You should be by our side at all times. Yeah, that's right. You have to serve us 24-7. But, but all the smoke, it, it's not good for my... <sighs> <sighs> <coughs> Do you even understand the situation you're in right now? We're letting you stay over at our place. That's right. You lost your home in a fire, and that left you in massive debt. You can't even rent a house right now, so you have no choice but to live with us. If you can't do as we say, then we'll just have to kick you out. But would you like that? W well no, right? Obviously. But you kind of pissed me off earlier with what you said. If you want to keep on staying over at our place, then you need to inhale all the smoke that we breathe out. That's a great idea. But, but that's not good for my baby! Huh? What the hell did you just say to us? Are you trying to say that our breaths are harmful? Oh, I see how it is. N no that's not what I was- Shut up and inhale the smoke! If you don't, we're kicking you out of the house tonight! Yeah, and if that happens, you'll never be able to have your baby! B but Alright, here we go! Three, two, one... Pooh! <coughs> uh-huh. Who the hell are you? What the hell are you doing, you idiot? You guys are the real idiots. Why would you try to make a pregnant woman inhale the Smokey? I think you mean Smoke. Oh, you're right. Smokey's a lion. N no, I think Smokey is a bear. You know, Smokey the bear. Oh, really? The smoke must be messing with my brain. God, smoking really does kill, doesn't it? What the hell is this guy on? Forget it. Let's go, honey. Yeah, let's head out. Come on, you're coming back with us. Y yes, ma'am. Um, um, you tried to help me, right? Thank you, I appreciate it. It's alright, I smoke regularly, so my lungs are already screwed beyond repair. It really doesn't matter what happens to me. N no that's not- We're waiting, come on, we ain't got all day. Uh oh I'm sorry, well, hopefully I'll see you around. Uh, thank you very much. No worries, yeah, smoking is never good for you. I've been trying to quit for a while, but I just can't do it. I guess I'm a nicotine addict now, but more importantly, I wonder if that girl's going to be alright. I wish I could help her, but 
maybe I'll be able to see her again if I come here some other time. Until then, hopefully she can hang in there. And so, I returned to the sushi restaurant and got back to work. A few days later... Alright, time to open shop. Hmm? Oh, here comes our first customers. Welcome! Huh? This place is completely empty. Yeah, you're right. Is this place actually good? Y yeah my friend said that they serve amazing sushi. Well, you and your friends are stupid, so... I guess we'll just have to sit and find out. I feel like I've met these people before, but I can't remember where. Anyway, get us some omaka sale, right? Yeah, and make it quick. Oh yeah, and don't forget to get us some ginger. Of course, sir. Hey, how much does the ginger cost? We provide the ginger to all customers for free, ma'am. Alright, then could you give us a bowl of ginger? Of course, coming right up. Huh? These people sure do love ginger, don't they? Who eats a bowl full of ginger? These people, I guess. Maybe they think eating ginger helps you lose weight. It's a common misconception, and I used to believe in that urban legend myself. Maybe I should tell them the truth. What the hell are you doing? Where's the damn ginger, huh? Yeah, never mind. I'm just gonna do what they say. If I do say anything to them, I'm definitely going to piss them off. They just seem like angry people. And the last thing I want to do is get in an argument with them. Here you go, sir. Here's your ginger. All right, here you go, mommy. Yeah, you stand there and eat that while we eat our meals, all right? What? But she looks like she's pregnant. Shouldn't she sit down and eat? We have enough seats for everyone. And besides, she shouldn't be eating that much ginger. I can make something you can eat, ma'am. Alma rice, fried rice, you name it. I can cook anything for you. It's all right, don't worry about it. We're making her stand up and eat because she's pregnant. Yeah, and ginger's her favorite thing in the whole world. So you don't have to worry about her at all. Right, mommy? But... It's all right, sir. I'm fine. This happens all the time, so I'm already used to being treated like this. This happens all the time? Come on now, mommy. Eat your lunch. Yeah, we're not going to let you leave anything. That would be super rude. Y yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, I remember these people. I met them the other day in the smoking area outside. I had sunglasses on, so I didn't really recognize them at first. But the way these two are treating this pregnant woman, it has to be them. You better chew on your food before you eat. We don't want you to choke on your food after all. Oh, yeah. Could you get us a cup of hot tea and make it super hot? We're going to make mommy chug it all. <laughs> That's hilarious. Come on, get us the drink, will ya? Okay, uh, please, give me a second. You better drink it all in three seconds, or we're going to kick you out of the house. Yeah, you better try your best. But, but that's not... Three seconds is a bit... What was that? Are you refusing to obey us? N no I'm not. I don't care if you're afraid of getting burnt. Just do it, all right? All you need is a little bit of courage. And besides, giving birth is going to be way more painful than this, so this is a great way to prepare. Don't you think we're so thoughtful? You should be on your knees thanking us right now for taking such good care of you. You're happy right now, right? Y yes very That's right. I'm about to break it. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Where's the tea we ordered? Yeah, we're dying to see mommy in pain, so hurry the hell up. I don't think you guys should do that to her. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? Stay out of this. Yeah, just do as you're told. We're your customers for crying out loud. Wait a minute, do you guys not know who she is? What do you mean? Of course we know who she is. She's our stupid daughter-in-law. Oh, so you guys really have no idea, huh? Well, I just realized, but she's a pretty famous figure in the Yakuza industry. She used to be called Hellfire Julia. Legend says that one time she beat up a hundred men by herself. No one could contain her back then. What? <laughs> Are you stupid? Her name is Mommy, not Julia. Come on, man. If you're gonna lie, then at least try to make it more convincing. I'm not lying. I swear. Sure, her real name is Mommy, but I swear she used to be called Julia. I'm telling you guys the truth. Uh, I don't know why you would lie to us like this, but you better bring out our tea right now. Yeah, we're tired of waiting. They should be here any second now. Hey, what the hell is this about MILF? Oh, there they are. Here, hold this for me. Who the hell are these people? They look pretty intimidating. They are members of the Gyuki clan. Wh what So they're with the Yakuza? That's right. I actually owe them money. So I think they're here for that. You need to kick them out right now! Well, I'd love to do that, but... I've had enough with you, MILF! I'm not going to let you get away with this today! My plate is... 
wait, are you talking about this? Oh shoot, I have a good idea. Hey guys, you need to back off or else this person right here is going to lose it. And you guys know very well what would happen if she loses her temper, right? Y you bastard! This isn't fair! Ma'am, what do you want us to do? This isn't good. If she actually loses her temper, please go home for today. I'm begging you! God damn it, what the hell even is this? F fine, we'll leave, you bastard! Come on, you idiots! Yes, ma'am! All right, you heard her. Let's go! You'll pay for this move! Whoa, did the Yuki clan just leave because they were afraid of mommy? Uh, I think so. What was that about? I told you guys already, didn't I? Mommy is a legendary figure in the Yakuza world. I I'm so sorry, mommy. Please forgive us. Yeah, please don't kill us. We're begging you. W well, I... It's too late for that, guys. Once she has her baby, she's probably going to annihilate you guys. Actually, she might still be able to beat you guys while having a baby in her belly. No way, P please anything but that. Please tell us what we need to do! We'll do anything for you, Mommy! So what do you say? Um... Alright, sounds good. She says she wants $300,000 and ownership of your house. She'll forgive you guys if you give that to her. That's a pretty cheap price to pay, don't you think? She's willing to let you guys live, after all. Y yes we will give you anything you want. So please don't kill us, we beg of you! Well, that's up to you guys. Now come on. Go and get everything ready for her. Y yes sir, we'll do that right away. All right, honey, let's go. We don't have all day. Phew, looks like we don't have to worry about them anymore. Um, what was that about? Don't worry about it. But anyway, you're gonna get $300,000 from them soon. So you can use that money to pay back your debt, right? Y yeah, but- Here, let me grab that plate for you. Uh, um, you're the man that saved me the other day in the smoking area, right? Thank you for helping me again, but- why are you doing this for me? Well, for no reason, I guess. When you see a piece of garbage on the ground, you pick it up and throw it in the trash, right? I just did what seemed like the best thing to do. That's... that's amazing. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Crap! Oh, shoot. This isn't good. Milf, Mom was furious. Why did you... Whoa, what the hell? Milf, did you do this? Uh, no. Could we pretend like you broke the plate? No, of course not! Why would I do that for you? And why are you so petty, sir? You're the leader of the Gyuki clan for crying out loud. What does that have to do with anything? And besides, I'm not being petty. W wait a minute, this man's the leader of the Gyuki clan? That's right, his name is Asahi Gyuki, and he's the second president of our clan. By the way, my name's Milf, and I'm the second in command. But wait, you were part of the Yakuza too? I, I would have never guessed. <laughs> I get that a lot. I'm pretty proud of that. I don't think you should be, MILF. What? What do you mean? And so, just like that, I was able to help another person in need. I did end up getting yelled at by my boss, though. Which wasn't fun at all. She's making me work twice as hard at the sushi restaurant now. But it's not that big of a deal. It's basically a walk in the park for me. It's more important that I help that pregnant woman free herself from her evil relatives. And five years later, she came to visit me with her son, who is growing healthily. You're the reason my son and I are standing here today. Thank you so much for everything. Come on now. I haven't done anything that warrants your gratitude. <laughs> you always say that, but I disagree. You really did do a lot for us. Really? But anyway, how old is Mikuru now? He just turned five. So he's already five years old, huh? That should be old enough. Here, take this. Wait, you got him a present? That's right. Here, take a look, Mikuru. It's a book about MILFs. W what What the hell are you thinking? Hey, what the hell? Why did you rip it up? That was my favorite book in my collection. Sir, please cheer up. I've got a present for you too, here. Mikuru? Whoa, what the hell? You're letting your kid smoke? He's only five, mommy. This is absurd. Sir, that's not a cigarette. That's a snack. What? Then why is it shaped like a cigarette then? That's just how it's designed. What? By the way, when we first met in the smoking area, why were you eating a snack there instead of smoking? Uh, what do you mean? I was smoking, wasn't I? No, you weren't. You were chewing on a snack just like the one Mikuru gave you. It was shaped like a cigarette. You really thought that was an actual cigarette? No, of course not! I'm not stupid! You're lying, aren't you? Uh, you really thought that was an actual cigarette, huh? You shouldn't lie, mister! Damn it! 
I can't believe I never realized that the thing I always had in my mouth wasn't an actual cigarette. I always thought it was smoking the real thing. That's why no one ever asks me for my ID. And that's why I'm always super healthy. The doctor even asked me if I actually smoked cigarettes the other day. Interesting. Well, I kind of knew that was the case, but hey, I know what you're thinking right now. No, I'm not lying. I'm telling you guys the truth. But anyway, that means that I haven't broken my promise with my wife yet. <laughs> Wait, but who the hell's that supposed to be? Uh, I don't really know what I'm saying right now, but I'm going to keep on living my life the way I want to, because you only live once. But anyway, let me light one up real quick. Man, this is delicious.